sisters, family, and to all of you that have been praying and supporting us during this season, I just wanted to come to you at this time to give you an update on what's happening here at the facility. I'm standing outside of our church in Alma, New York, and the renovation process and project has started, and I just want to take you on a tour of what's really happening inside the building. So come on in, let's go for a little tour. We're going in through the main doors, and we're standing here in the lobby, which is being expanded and enlarged so that we can have more people gather and connect and fellowship with one another. And right now, you're looking at this space right here. It's gonna be our new welcome center. We're gonna be able to welcome new people and all of you that call this place home and just so we can stay connected with you. So this, all this will be updated with new flooring. Everything will be new. And this door is gonna used to lead us into the sanctuary, but this door will be removed and this space will be uh, enlarged so that we can go into our new lobby space, our dedicated lobby. So here we go. So all this space here will be dedicated for our lobby, continued space for all of us to gather and connect. And I'm just walking through. And right now, uh, I'm standing in front of what will become our new men's restroom. Yep, men. All the men out there, you're getting a whole new restroom. It's going to be a larger restroom. We want to see more men come to the church. No. We want everyone to come to church. But this is going to be our new men's room. And, oh, yeah, if you can see behind me, ladies, this is going to be our newly updated women's restroom. Everything is being taken out in the process of being taken out. But all this will be updated for all of us to enjoy and use as well. So I want to right now lead you from this space. And we're going to go into our... Uh, new entry into the sanctuary space. Now we're just going to our new uh, entrance to the sanctuary. And here you go, they started the process of opening this wall up so that they could put the new uh, doors and entry so that we could enter from the lobby, the new expanded lobby into this new sanctuary layout. So we're walking through these doors and right now technically I'm in the new back of the sanctuary. I'm standing here in the back of the sanctuary and I am looking forward uh, to our, in, the, in the sanctuary space. So join me as I walk to, towards the front of the church like many of us will do during altar call. So join me as I go for my altar call right now. So I'm standing here. I'm technically right now in the middle of the sanctuary or seating space and that is where the new stage will be. But before we get there, I want to just show you where the old stage was. Right now you can see this, the platform is gone, everything has been removed, and this is an empty void space it looks like, but I believe uh, it's going to be filled with new seats. This is going to be new space for new seating, more seating, additional seating, for more lives, new lives to come and experience the presence of God. So we just removed a platform but created space for all of you and more people like you to come and enjoy what's happening here, experience what God is doing here in this place. So that's where the old stage was, now let me just take you back to where the new expanded platform and stage will be. We removed one of those closets in the corner and this is where the new stage and platform will be where songs will be sung, messages will be preached. Here at this altar space where I can't get to right now because of all this stuff, uh, debris that's there. But I believe in this space and all throughout the sanctuary, your life, my life, all of our lives and many more lives will be impacted, touched with the message of the gospel and with the presence of God that only the Holy Spirit can minister to people. So I want to invite you right now uh, to continue to pray. I want to take this moment to say thank you to each and every one of you for your prayers, your faithful generosity, your sacrificial giving in the There Is More expansion offering. And if you believe that you can continue to invest in this and see this continue to impact many more lives, we invite you to go learn more at firstcog.com and just continue to go to the give section and give that there is more expansion offering. So we're so excited for what God is doing. This is just the beginning, and I'll share more updates with you as things progress. So God bless you, and like, share, and share this out to as many people as you can, and let's see God do miraculous things. Amen. God bless.